So my wife Jackie is in Adelaide this weekend and she sent me a message telling me that she spent a little bit more time than she originally thought she would down in the wineries. As a result, she asked me if I wouldn't mind flying Echo Yankee Zulu to Adelaide to pick up a couple of boxes of wine that she's managed to purchase. And of course, as a loving husband and a pilot, what I said was no. I said no because the weather in Adelaide at the moment is not very nice. It's quite wet, it's quite windy. Like it's doable and it's legally possible to get over there, but it's a two and a half hour flight with quite a strong headwind. And I just don't know at late notice on a Sunday morning if I actually want to invest my brain power into trying to execute a flight like that safely. So I actually think the safest thing, maybe not the kindest thing, but the safest thing is to say no. Sorry, Jack. But instead, because I still fancied a flight today, I'm actually gonna take Echo Yankee Zulu north out of Melbourne, where the weather is a lot better than it is over in Adelaide in the west, to a place called Tokenwall, because, well, because aviation, that's why. Received Oscar, request taxi 17 left, IFR departure via Melbourne. Hey, Yankee okay, Zulu, would you be happy with 17 right? Be very happy with 17 right, Yankee okay, Zulu. Yankee okay, Zulu, taxi Golf 2, runway 17 right, walk 3242. Body point Golf 2, 17 right, 3242, Yankee okay, Zulu. Yankee okay, okay, Zulu, clearance available. Yankee okay, okay, Zulu, go ahead. Yankee okay, Zulu, clear by Melbourne, maintain 5000, passing 2500, contact departures 129 at decimal 4. Okay, so it's clear to Melbourne, maintain 5,000, 2,500, 129 decimal four. A lot of birds around at the moment. Those big ones, those are ibis birds they are, you don't want to hit one of them. Rabbit Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu is ready, holding point, Golf 2, departure via Melbourne. Echo Yankee Zulu, Tower, good morning, if you can report leaving 1,500 please, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Echo Yankee Zulu. Airspeed's increasing on both. Engine temperatures and pressures are good. Seventy knots. Wow! Up we go straight away. No runway. Flaps away. Five hundred feet. Caps is now available. Right turn. A little bit aggressive on the bank, so I'm just going to shallow that off a little bit. What a nice standard rate. And into the clouds. Echo Yankee Zulu passing 1,500. Echo Yankee Zulu, thank you, and you can switch to the park when you're ready. Good day. See ya. Outside air temperature currently is 12 degrees, so we're all right in terms of icing. Not sure what the cloud tops are going to be today, but we'll see. Melbourne departures, Echo Yankee Zulu passing 2,400, climbing 5,000. Echo Yankee Zulu uh, departures, g'day, identified. Maintain uh, 5,000. Maintain 5,000, Echo Yankee Zulu. I don't think we're going to be in these clouds for too long, to be honest. I think we're about to come out the top of them. Philippine 210, contact centre 134, day small 32. 1343 to Philippine 210, good day. Okay, from 1343 and just confirming, so we came out the clouds there at about 3,100 feet. Echo Yankee Zulu, re-cleared track direct to Mangalore. Re-cleared direct Mangalore, Echo Yankee Zulu. So for Mangalore, I could just come in here, I could go Mangalore, direct, activate. And you can see that changes the, we were going to go to Melbourne. We were going to go straight and go to Melbourne, but now we're turning right instead. So we're cutting out this little bit of the triangle here. And that just helps air traffic control in Melbourne to keep us out of the way of any other traffic that's coming in. If you ever wonder why I keep looking down here when I'm climbing, it's because in the Cirrus, this isn't a turbo, what we call a normally aspirated, so there's no turbocharger. It just relies on the ambient air that's around it at any time. So as the higher we go, the thinner the air gets, or the less dense the air gets, and the more, or the less fuel is needed for the engine. So what I'm doing is just every now and again, I'm leaning the mixture back. I've got a little scale here to remind me what what uh, fuel flow I need, but I'm just leaning the mixture as we climb. So the engine is operating then at its most uh, efficient power settings. Do you want to have a look outside? Do you want to see what the view's like? Okay. There you go.
go. There you go. There you go, Yankee Zulu was just about to call you. Actually, we're happy to remain at 5,000 uh, visual, if that's okay with you. Okay, Yankee Zulu, I can maintain 5,000 visual. Maintain 5,000 visual, okay, Yankee Zulu, thanks. And the reason I'm happy to remain visual at 5,000 is for a couple of reasons. First of all, well, I can see the ground now, and there's no point me climbing too much further because this is actually quite a short flight. The other item to factor in is the headwinds above me, so you can see my small plane there. If I climb up any further, you can see the headwinds are only going to get stronger. But I've decided because we can see the ground, because we're visual, and actually because the lowest safe altitude on the next leg is actually 3,000 feet, then 5,000 is a nice easy level for us to stay at now for the rest of the flight. Balance Center, Echo Yankee Zulu, maintaining 5,000. Echo Yankee Zulu, Melbourne Center, confirming is 5,000 visual. Hey for 5,000 visual Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, take you to the area, QNH 1018. 1018, Echo Yankee Zulu. I've been handed over to another controller, but this is not an IFR day. I, I'm going to, I know they're a bit busy with stuff going on in Melbourne, so let me. Melbourne Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, currently maintaining 5,000, top of descent in two minutes. Cancel IFR, we'll go in visually, just request traffic for descent into Tokemon. Echo Yankee Zulu, Melbourne today, Reggie, IFR is terminated, operate VFR, Fox 1200, and time for IFR traffic, forward descent, good day. IFR cancel, score VFR, and thanks for the traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu. And let's descend. So now we are no longer an IFR flight. We're just a regular VFR flight squawking 1200, which is what we do here in Australia. Air traffic control don't need to give us traffic updates anymore. But I did just ask for an update on any traffic going into Tokemon. Land the aircraft and get a coffee. Instruments and switches all checked. Everything's looking good here. We've got Tokemon lined up and it's going to be 09. And I know that's a right hand circuit. So we'll actually join an oblique downwind base and then land on two runway zero nine. Tokemon traffic, Cirrus Echo Yankee Zulu is one two miles to the south on descent passing three thousand inbound, joining a downwind for runway zero nine, estimate circuit type five two, Tokemon. Inbound aircraft, Tokemon glider, India uniform Zulu, we have gliding operations in progress, runway zero nine across left. Understood, thank you, Echo Yankee Zulu. Tokemol traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu, five miles to the south now, 2,200, will be joining an oblique downwind for zero 09 right, Tokemol. I've got the glider, he's just coming in now. Tokemol traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu, joining downwind, zero 09 right, with the glider in sight, Tokemol. First stage of flaps, milkshake, you can come sit here so I can see. All right, no one on final, no gliders, not that I can see. Tokemol traffic, Echo Zulu, turning final runway 09 right, full stop, Tokemol. Runway is clear. Thank you, Smart Taxi, for telling me what runway that is. Let's get a coffee. It's hot and it's not windy. So I can open, oops, I can open that up and that will stay open. Just let some of the heat out of the engine so I don't get something called vapor lock in this aircraft, which I've had before on hot days, which basically means there's air that builds up, air bubbles that build up in the fuel lines. So when you try and start it on a hot day, it doesn't. You don't want to leave that open on a windy day because obviously that will just flap around, but there's, there's no wind today. <laughs> Absolutely no wind at all. Just warm and lots of flies. If you haven't been to this place before and you happen to be in the area, can I give it a hearty recommend? This, this town's called Tokenwall. This is Tokenwall Airport. And the cafe 
inside is called the Drome Cafe. Not drone like zzz, but as in short for aerodrome. But this whole area has been renovated over the last couple of years, kind of just since COVID, to put in this new cafe. They've got an aviation museum here, which is just fantastic if you want to come down and have a look. And there's this whole outdoor area, which they've landscaped and redeveloped. And it's just a really cool area to come down, sit outside. If you have kids, and I'm talking to you, if you have kids, uh, bring them down here, buy them like a hot chocolate or a milkshake in the cafe, and let them watch the planes for a bit. Even maybe take them for a walk and see if you can chat to some of the pilots. Everyone loves talking about aviation. Don't worry about disturbing anybody. They'll love telling the, the kids about the planes and what they're doing. Places like this are really important to the future of aviation, which if you're watching this channel, you obviously care about just in the same way that I care about it. So yeah, come to a place like this, come to Token Wall. It's very cool, I do like it. Oh, I am sweating, even though I've got the aircon on here in the aircraft, just the residual heat. So, come on, traffic, Echo Anxu is rolling for departure 09 right, right hand turn, climbing 7000, tracking southbound. Token ball. All right, a little bit of crosswind from the right, full power. Temperatures and pressures are good. Air speed's increasing on both. Seventy knots. Up we go. And five hundred feet. Caps is now available. Going to make my right turn. I know they said that the gliders were operating on the other side of the airfield, but I will just keep a very good eye out just in case. Melbourne Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, IFR departure. Echo Yankee Zulu, Melbourne Centre, score four three seven four. No reported IFR train. 4374, Echo Yankee Zoe. And I need to give a departure report. He knows where I am. Oh, am I dent? Well, not identified yet, but he, can, he knows where I am. Echo Yankee Zulu, you're identified. The area QH 1013, very high level. 1013, passing 3200, climbing 7000. Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu. And much nicer up here, much smoother now. And of course we've got that tailwind that we were hoping for. Melbourne Approach Echo Yankee Zulu maintaining 6,000 and just looking for the 17 Arnav into Moorabbin. Echo Yankee Zulu understood, expected uh, cleared to Moorabbin via Lacey Plant Route 6,000, Melbourne QNH 1019. Cleared Melbourne, uh, uh, cleared Moorabbin via Lacey Plant Route 6,000, 1019, Echo Yankee Zulu. So what's going to happen now is Melbourne is going to step us down. Uh, he's given me 5,000. Actually, that might be the lowest he gives me at the moment. The lowest on this leg is 4,900. And then once we get to Harrow, we can descend down to 3,300. So, to be honest, he'll probably keep me at 5,000, clear me for the RNAV, and then once I'm in the RNAV, then I will descend myself within the kind of safety and the framework of the instrument approach itself. But until then, I'll just follow his directions Hey, thank you Zulu, you can reduce uh, speed by 20 knots, thanks uh, for the sequence. Reducing speed 20 knots, and going Zulu. And uh, what does that make uh, you indicated? That will give me indicated 1, 3, 2, and going Zulu. Hey, thank you Zulu, thanks. Yankee Zulu, just for spacing with traffic ahead, turn left heading 150, expect to rejoin by Harrow. Left 150, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, I'll give you direct in about uh, a minute or just under 30 seconds. Understood, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, can resume back your normal speed, thanks. And normal speed, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, descent of 4700, cleared the RMP runway 17 approach. Descent 4700, cleared RMP 17, Echo Yankee Zulu. Outside air temperature 12 degrees, so we should be fine. I can see moisture, but nothing I see on the wings. Okay, Yankee Zulu, passing 2500, control service certification terminate, contact Mervyn Tower for clearance, see ya. Passing 2500, service is terminated and over to Mervyn Tower. Okay, Yankee Zulu, see ya. Mervyn 
Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu, inbound on the 17RNAV 2400, in cloud, received, Romeo. Echo Yankee Zulu, good day, into the RMP, landing 17 right, report one visual. 17 right, and we'll report visual, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, is visual request right circuit, if they are, sorry, right runway if able. Echo YouTube Zulu, 17 right, clear to land. <laughs> One seven right, clear to land. I love that echo, YouTube Zulu. In the end, I was actually quite glad I didn't fly to Adelaide today. Firstly, my wife didn't actually end up buying as much wine as she originally thought she would. Secondly, Adelaide had more rain that weekend than it normally does in the entire month of December. And thirdly, and maybe a little bit selfishly, but I just had a really nice day flying myself up to Token Mall and back for a coffee. I should probably spend the time I saved washing Echo Yankee Zulu though. I mean, look at this, it's filthy.